Five, more than 21,000 Angelinos are now inside safe. That word coming from Los Angeles Mayor Karen Bass as she marks her first year in office. A parent applauded the inside safe program that has improved conditions outside Selma Avenue Elementary School. For housing 41 of our unhoused neighbors, we're so grateful. And we are so grateful that the children who attend this school are now able to use the sidewalk. Bass joined by U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development officials, LAUSD Superintendent Alberto Corvallo, City Council members, and others at this morning's event. Later, a roundtable discussion I attended highlighted 2023's successes, in her view, including more affordable housing units and additional housing vouchers. But the mayor says she is aware of the remaining challenges. When I see an 81% retention rate, I mean, I think that's good, but I'm going to strive for much, much higher yes. than that. But I do think that one of the dilemmas has been the service provision, and you've heard me say that over months, that we have stretched the service providers way beyond their capacity, and so we have to figure out how to address, standardize the provision of services when people are in the motels. She's referring to the fact that 81% of people who are brought inside with Inside Safe are still in the program, meaning 19% they have no idea where they are. The mayor promised to house 17,000 Angelinos during her first year in office. She says she's housed 21,000, so she's met that mark. City officials say $67.3 million has been expended for costs related to homelessness this year.